After House is what the title says, is um, the construction of a new house that is made for plants now, a greenhouse, on the foundations of an old house. A lot of these houses, when they become demolished, they sit as vacant land. And I feel like it's important for the community to see a new installation come up and not have to wait around and wonder what this land is going to be turned into. Just being an architecture student, the architecture of it, seeing this space that uh, be completely unique, a unique structure, a unique form of architecture, but still retain some of the quality of the house and the fact that it would be sitting on the foundation, on the footprint of it. So as we move forward with it and try to install these in other places, each one of them will be a unique piece of architecture that's unique to that specific location. So the main concept is that the earth uh, and the temperature of the ground uh, will keep the greenhouse warm in the winter at a temperature of about uh, 45 to 50 degrees. The earth is also used for coolness in the summer. Um, and so rather than having a greenhouse that is above the ground that's really hot in the summer, we can take advantage of the, of the ground uh, to keep the greenhouse cool enough so that crops can grow in there in the summer as well. Just having this installation after house up as a place where they can gather and tie the whole community together. Uh, it'll be a place where, you know, year round people can come and architecturally just having it there, this unique structure in their own backyard, being able to look at it versus looking at an abandoned building, you know probably fill them with a lot of hope and it can facilitate further change in the community. It could be a rallying point. Since graduating two years ago and getting my master's from U of M, uh, I've been working for an architecture firm uh, here in Midtown Detroit. Um, but also uh, working on some academic projects with Stephen and Travis uh, in the meantime. I think it's a really great opportunity uh, for not only this community um, that we're sitting in now, but the, the city writ large. You know, being able to bring farming back into the urban setting and, and do it through architecture, which is great. This is kind of the dream project when we bought the house that we were hoping something like this would come along and so this is, uh, we're extremely uh, glad and excited and grateful to be part of the process. My name is Kate Dodrell and I am a farmer here at Burnside Farm and Burnside Farm is basically a place for growing food and building community and uh, learning to live well. Burnside Farms is a pivotal uh, um, aspect of this project because they're, they're the ones that will be taking care of the house uh, and, uh, and will have ownership of the house. And so we're very proud of that.